Nice copy the bike. So let's pop into Tesco's and see what they've got. I know there's a couple of good ones out this week. Uh, so we've got the, uh, the Great Wall uh, and Resident Evil, a couple of other ones. So let's pop in there and see what they've got on the shelves. So here's uh, one of this week's main titles, uh, The Great Wall. Um, I really enjoyed this film uh, with all the, uh, the Chinese colours and the, the soldiers and that. So it uh, kind of reminded me of, you know, like flying daggers and that. But uh, yeah, I really enjoyed it. Um, this was okay, um, Resident Evil, the final chapter. Um, there's so many, so many of these <laughs> that you can dish out, but um, yeah, it's, you know. But um, yeah, the hat and garden job. Um, I didn't know this one was out, so um, I don't even think this one was at the cinema, or it had may have had a limited run. But uh, also uh, fences uh, with Denzel Washington and Viola Davis. So I didn't see this one, but um, I really do want to see it. But uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to get this one just yet. I might wait for it to come down a little bit. And yes, oh yes, uh, this is this week's big release, John Wick 2. Uh, I'm surprised none of these actually have slip covers in here. Uh, they're getting a bit lapsed with the L slip covers, so um, I might look elsewhere, maybe Sainsbury's. But uh, there's the Resident Evil 4K. Not got into 4K yet, so I might eventually. But uh, and uh, the Great Wall 3D. I do like this cover. I think I prefer this cover more than the the still book. Although the still book looks really nice, uh, and I recently just did a um, a group buy on the still book. But um, I think I prefer the uh, the Emory cover. And here's the uh, the DVD section. So uh, there's the uh, the Great Wall. And of course, uh, Resident Evil, uh, the final chapter there. Uh, also, uh, the founder, which is a new one about the uh, the story of uh, McDonald's with uh, Michael Keaton. So that looks quite uh, quite a laugh. That does. Uh, Billy Lynn's long half time walk. I, I don't know much about this one. Um, I'm not. I don't even recall it being at the cinema here. So I don't know. Maybe that had a limited run as well. And uh, 1939 Allied Fury. Hmm. Never heard of this one. Looks like a, a straight to DVD budget one, so could be good. And oh, good old Roger Moore films there, yeah. Three pounds, blimey. Okay, we're at our next stop, uh, which is Sainsbury's, so let's pop in and uh, see what they've got this week. There's the main ones in Sainsbury's, um, all with slips, so that's good, but um, what I spotted was um, Resident Evil. Uh, includes all six films, so it's the complete collection. So that's neat. It's the first time I've seen the, the whole collection in a in a Blu-ray package. So that might be worth picking up. I've only got I think two two of the steel books, but that's not bad for thirty pound. I also uh, noticed this uh, Spider-Man box set down here, uh, the five movie collection. So it's got all the the three Tobey Maguire ones plus the uh, the two Andrew Garfield Spider-Man. So that's pretty neat. They do have the uh, the founder in here on Blu-ray, uh, which I only noticed they had on DVD in Tesco, so that's pretty good. Plus, also a film called Loving with Joel Edgerton and uh, and Ruth Negga, so and that looks quite interesting. Good cast there, so I might look into that one. Oh yeah, five days to go. Well, folks, hope you enjoyed that little shop, that little gallivant out there to Tesco's and Sainsbury's. Um, I did pick up a couple of titles, so I'm just going to go through them now. Um, first one I picked up was The Great Wall 3D Edition. Uh, now, I did like the look of the steel book, um, and I was humming and harming whether or not to buy it, um, even though it didn't have a title on the front. But I kind of I liked this uh, the whole look of the front with all other characters on, whereas the steel book has just got Matt Damon. On the front cover but as I say I did like the steelbook but um, 
I decided to go for this one. It was about six pounds cheaper as well. So it's got the 3D, it's got one I want, so that's great. So that's that one. Uh, and the other title I picked up is John Wick 2, which uh, in my opinion, with this and Logan are the two best films of the year so far. This is absolutely brilliant. Um, if you want to see people get shot in the fucking head, watch this. <laughs> God, I'm a sadistic bastard, and I. But yeah, it's a brilliant film, a brilliant action film, uh, and we get to see another dog. <laughs> it's always nice to have a dog in a video, but hopefully, not too many of them get killed. But yeah, so John Wick, really nice. One thing that pissed me off though, um, no company in the UK has got any John Wick still books. Nope, not Savvy, not HMV, not Zoom. I don't know what is going on. Um, but if you want a steel book, you've got to go somewhere like Best Buy. Um, I don't know if Target's got one, but uh, it's really annoying. But I have got a steel book for the first film, uh, which I believe is the Nova Media one. Uh, so it's the uh, the full lenticular one. But that is really nice. Uh, and they're actually doing this for the second one as well. Uh, I believe it goes uh, pre-orders go live at the end of the month, I think. Um, and it goes on sale at the end of July. So yeah, I'm looking forward to getting that. It is region lock A though. So if you haven't got a multi-region player, um, you're in a bit of a stick really. But yeah, I mean, I love the look of this. The love, the look of this still book. I mean, there's no embossing or anything like that, but it's got a beautiful gloss on it. Look at that. That's really nice. Uh, and also inside, you get the discs and you get some cards and also a little book in there as well so that's really nice and I hope the second one lives up to the quality of this so um, I can't be asked to wait around for HMV or, or um, Zavi to get their asses in gear and get a steel book so I've got the first one and hopefully I'll get the second one uh, also a couple of days ago I was in Tesco's uh, the collectible tins and I noticed there was a, a new one um, I didn't I didn't video it um, because I didn't have that I didn't have my camera on me at the moment at the time but I'm just going to show you it Avengers that's nice isn't it but and look at that I mean they're all like this they're all glossy and embossed like that but that's a really nice one if I get in a bit you can see a bit more of the picture so yeah that's beautiful and you've got just the, the plain tin on the back got the sides uh, and inside uh, it comes with all the usual shit so you get all the pens all the coloring pens and the pencils and all that kind of crap the only thing I really keep is the poster so when you open up the poster although it's crappy on the front on the on the back uh, because it's like a coloring in one on the other side you got a nice Avengers poster so that's nice that's the only thing I keep all the other stuff goes in the bin with all the other shit from the week but yeah, so that's a really pleased. So, uh, and I only paid five pounds for that as well. So they keep them, they're keeping them reasonable. Uh, but I wish they'd churn some more out because um, that's the first one I've got in a couple of weeks. Haven't been to Poundland this week, so um, I don't think they've got any new titles since the last time I was in there last week. So we'll have to try them next week and see what we get then. Uh, next week we've got a big one coming out. We've got the Lego Batman movie, so that should be pretty good. I'm definitely getting the steelbook on that one. Uh, and I'm also running a group buy on that one as well. Um, I have got group buy orders for uh, the Great Wall. So I've got 11 copies that I'm shipping out. So they'll be going out within the next two to three days. So they should be on your way. If you've got a combination on the um, on the group buy. So if you've got the Lego Batman movie and say for instance Triple um, X, uh, Return of Xander Cage or the Great Wall, then they'll be shipping all together in one box. So they should be going out within the next couple of weeks. Ask Alexa shit. Alexa, what is the purpose of the Great Wall? The Great Wall of China is a series of fortifications built to defend northern borders of China. It is majorly made of stone, brick, tamped earth and wood. It is 21,196.18 kilometers long and was built over 2,000 years ago by Qin Shi Huang, the first emperor of China. It is famous because it is an architectural feat of ancient China that is also the longest man-made wall in the world. Alexa, did Donald Trump build the Great Wall? No, Donald Trump is not the builder of Great Wall of China. <laughs> 
Alexa, who is John Wick? John Wick, the 20th and 21st century role-playing game designer best known for his creative contributions to the Alderac Entertainment Group properties Legend of the Five Rings and Seventh Sea. Not unless he's going to shoot you in the fucking head, that's wrong. <laughs> Alexa, what is Resident Evil? Resident Evil, the survival horror video game series and media franchise consisting of comic books, novelizations, three Hollywood motion pictures, and a variety of collectibles, including action figures, strategy guides, and publications. Three Hollywood movies. Alexa, are you out of date? I'm not sure. No, neither am I. Alexa, Wiki Keanu Reeves. Keanu Charles Reeves is a Canadian actor, director, producer, and musician. Reeves is best known for his acting career, beginning in 1985 and spanning more than three decades. Alexa, Wiki Matt Damon. Matthew Page Damon is an American actor, film producer, and screenwriter. He is ranked among Forbes magazine's most bankable stars and is one of the highest grossing actors of all time. Ask Alexa shit. So, um, thanks for watching. Um, I am going to be uploading another video shortly. Um, it's going to be a top five video, uh, and it's going to be my top five M. Night Shyamalan movies. Um, you're probably thinking what my number one is going to be it might surprise you actually but uh, yes yeah, so that should be quite interesting and i'll tell you a bit about the films and what i what i like about the film so um i'll upload that hopefully in the next couple of days so um, thanks for clicking on the video uh, give it a thumbs up if you like the video uh, and if you weren't too scared about the beginning <laughs> hope you didn't shoot yourselves uh subscribe um, so you get all my notifications and check out all the lenticulars and, and the group buys at the usual places I'll put the, the bits and pieces at the end of the titles. So until the next video keep shopping for those blu-rays everyone See you soon